This is Alan Steady with our managed services team over here at firewalls.com. And in this video, we're going to be demonstrating how you can restrict remote management to specific trusted sources on your WatchGuard Firebox. So there are two different methods of connecting to your WatchGuard Firebox to administer and make configuration changes, one of which is using the Policy Manager, and the second is using the Firewall UI. We're going to go ahead and jump into our web UI and take a look. So here within our FireWare web UI, we're going to check out our firewall policies where we can see by default that the Firebox is automatically going to include a couple of different firewall policies for the various management ports, which is what's going to allow us to connect and manage our Firebox. And we can hover over the From section here and see that it automatically creates the rules for any trusted or optional networks. It is always best practice to restrict administrative or device access to our core networking devices. And we can do this a few different ways, largely depending on our organization's security policy. For more stricter enforcement, we may be required to physically connect to the Firebox via console or perhaps on a separate management network or interface. And in more relaxed organizations or environments, we may be able to administer the Firebox via a remote connection using the Policy Manager or Firewall UI, where in this case, we will want to enforce access controls. In other words, we want to define where these connections can originate from. So if you're an IT admin road warrior, this probably means utilizing a more secure form of access, such as a VPN, to allow for a more dynamic approach to management, since you're not always going to be establishing these connections from a single place. And in other scenarios, uh, if you have a managing partner, such as firewalls.com, um, what we always want to do is lock down our access from the untrusted networks. So any traffic that would be originating from the WAN. So we would update these default policies to include our public IP blocks and disable any other forms of access. So in our example, what we are going to be doing is administer the Firebox using the web UI. So again here, we got to our firewall policies via the web UI under firewall and firewall policies. And we can edit these default Firebox rules where we're primarily interested in adjusting the from. So where are these connections again originating from? And as mentioned, by default, it allows us access from our trusted and optional networks. So to adjust our rule, to allow access from untrusted networks, we're just going to select the Add button, where we can then add additional hosts or networks. And we can just go ahead and type in our IP address. And we can continue to add additional networks or hosts. Another thing to keep in mind, even though this is a trusted network, so these would be any of our private IP ranges, so your 192, 168, dot zero dot zero slash sixteen one seven two dot sixteen dot zero dot zero dot slash twelve and then a ten dot zero dot zero dot zero slash eight where we can further harden our firewall rule to specify our actual internal network you want to do this because maybe down the line you require for example a VPN tunnel and that remote network is also going to be on a private network so we don't want that to be considered as trusted so it's always a good idea to be as specific as possible in our firewall rule creation so to specify our internal network I'm just going to go ahead and select our member type being a network and put in our internal network subnet Now I can remove these objects of any optional and any trusted and save our policy. So that takes care of Policy Manager. We'll want to do the same type of thing for the web UI. And again, remove these any objects and save our rule. So the idea with our firewall hardening is we want to allow access to who needs it and shut it down for everyone else. So now we can see in our example in our from category here, we are allowing access using the policy manager, which uses these ports 4105, 4117, and 4118, as well as to the UI using TCP 8080, where we're allowing these connections only from specific 
trusted sources. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, give us the thumbs up below and be sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel so you're notified of future video releases. And come and check us out at firewalls.com. It's www.firewalls.com. Thanks for watching.